The working conditions are prime. I feel like frosty the snowman out here. <laughs> and this is just the beginning. It's crazy, the roof just blends right into the sky. The dogs are loving it, but we have a hard deadline. Trent and Brandon just ran down to go pick up someone very, very special. Subscribe and come along today as we bundle up and raise the roof. What's up guys and good morning. We are getting a nice start on things today. We are hopefully gonna finish framing the walls on the second edition of the garage. Found my beanie. Definitely need that. It's a little bit cold this morning. This is very exciting. However, tomorrow there's a chance of snow and then by the end of the week, there's definitely gonna be a bunch of snow. So I would really like to be able to get the roof on this edition so that we don't have to frame in the snow but I don't know if we have enough time. So today we're gonna bust our butts and see how much we can get done. bit of a dry spell so it's actually been warm relatively speaking like 25 to 35 degrees sunny and no precipitation so the deck is starting to melt the snow is all starting to melt because we're south facing our property gets a lot of uh, a lot of snow our property gets a lot of sun throughout the day um, so we're taking advantage of this weather as much as possible and I think these guys are just trying to bust out the rest of this garage edition today. It's actually the week of Thanksgiving so we have some very fun plans coming up for the rest of the week but before then we're trying to get as much done framing as possible and it looks like uh, the weather is working in our favor. Looks like summertime out here. Yeah, feels like summertime out here. <laughs> That's so smart to just put up a string so you can see exactly the angle of your gable. Yeah, I mean, I can't take credit for <laughs> this idea. No, it's a good idea. What a lot of the pros do. Are we not pros yet? Come on. The string never lies. <laughs> the level might lie sometimes. <laughs> your tape might lie sometimes. The string never lies. The time I think that we were uh, finishing roofing and building the shelter logic, like right when we started building a couple years ago, we had a bunch of people over to help us and Brian and I were collapsing this ladder and we, I was still new to like using this ladder and when it collapses, it like slams down onto itself. So if your fingers are in the way, your fingers are going to be no more. And my fingernails got clipped like so close to getting my fingers fully chopped off. And I remember both of us stopping and being like, oh, that was really close. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. So this is basically a knockoff version of the Little Giant Ladder by Gorilla Ladders. Mm -hmm. And when Little Giant first came out, these holes right here yeah. were like pretty legit sized. And there was like all these lawsuits because people would hold the side of the ladder oh. and when it would go down, it would just <gasps> guillotine their fingers off. Oh my gosh. Super gnarly. That It's like, it could still happen. <laughs> but I think that's why Little Giants, now they have like a like a bar that pulls out, like they redesigned it. But. Wow. Yeah. Who knew ladders would be the most deadly thing on our job site? <laughs> you like the view from up there? 
see far and wide. And hidey ho, neighbor. Hidey ho, neighbor. <laughs> you match the house for the, the garage. My favorite color. <laughs> level? Now we need to level again. Level! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, put, I'll put it right in the way again. Okay. I can be the level holder. Okay. Somebody's got to do it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have you ever seen Galaxy Quest? Uh-uh. It's like a parody of Star Trek, basically, and Sigourney Weaver is one of the... She's like the only female crew member on their spaceship. And her entire job, everyone has like an important role, and her entire job is to repeat what the overhead computer says out loud and then and respond to it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And she is just always like making fun the whole movie about how like she has like the most ridiculous job. And that's how I feel sometimes. I'm gonna hold this level and I'm gonna hold it really well. You're doing a mighty fine job. Thank Alex. you, thank you. <laughs> Couldn't do it without you. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? You shot there with your hammer. Thanks. Slide it down the wall. <laughs> Alright, we're making quick work things, trying to work as fast as possible. It is uh, 1130. I think we can finish framing this wall. Okay. Or at least get close to. I'm hoping we can get it done. And then we just got to hang our ledger, get all of our 2x12 uh, bird's mouths cut, and then sheath everything, throw up the rafters and put the roof sheathing on. Nice. I'm hoping like by tomorrow we might be close to having it finished. Okay. Might need one extra day yeah. other than that, but... This may be one instance where we sheet the roof without having wall sheeting on yet. <laughs> Just because I really want it to not snow in here. Yeah. And I think it's going to snow tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Just a little, but enough that it will be a big pain in the butt while we're working. So. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Carry on then. Alrighty. running into some problems here. So it looks like we are running out of studs and um, the scrap pieces, like the fall off pieces from what they've been cutting are not gonna be long enough to use as full length studs. So we're trying to get creative, but we're running into a bit of a predicament here. A smart carpenter probably would have got 20 footers <laughs> instead of 16 footers because then instead of having like seven and a half feet of fall off, we would be able to make two studs out of one piece. Mm. But I I did not foresee that. You're not a smart carpenter. I'm an idiot, yeah. <laughs> I'm just a village idiot trying to do my best, you know? That's how you learn. That's exactly how you learn. That or someone teaches you. Ain't nobody teaching me right now. <laughs> getting, my, getting my lessons from the school of hard knocks. But we're gonna put in these last three studs, throw a top plate up here, and then we're going to BMC. Pick up a couple extra boards, some roof sheathing. Okay. And we're out of here. Since I was child, when I was young and wild, nobody could ever tell me there was nothing to overwhelm me. I thought I was cool when I left school. Took some time. Do we live in the mountains? These are both in t-shirts. Aren't you hot? I am uh, cooking. Yeah. We're... It is a warm summer day out here, that's for sure. So we're four studs short, which oh. is like a huge bummer, and it's coming at a very inopportune time. So <laughs> you basically- You look tan. Huh? I you look, look tan? tan. Thank you. <laughs> Been working on it. <laughs> um, yeah, 
we're just gonna have to go to BMC, pick up that roof sheathing, pick up the four extra studs, and then like tomorrow, we're gonna have to throw those studs in, hmm. finish that wall, and then start doing our roof rafters. Hopefully we can finish the roof rafters and at least throw roof sheathing up okay. tomorrow. All I can say is with all of the scrap wood that we have, Leo is gonna have a pretty baller tree house. <laughs> tree house for sure. Yeah. Multiple tree houses. He needs, tree first. he needs a kid cave. Kid cave? Kid cave. There you go. <laughs> Oh, those two trees right there are perfect. Yes. All right, so I guess uh, we're packing everybody up and we are hitting the road. guys welcome to another day in paradise yesterday these guys got so much done they finished framing the front gable and then the side wall of the addition on the garage on the far side and today they're wasting no time at all getting it sheeted because we're running out of time it's snowing it snowed a little bit last night I think it's going to continue to snow all day and it is freezing it's coming down aggressively it's like tiny little intense snowflakes i don't think it's going to accumulate that much but it's definitely pretty chilly and a little bit annoying if you're trying to like frame and do work outside while it's snowing obviously this is not our first choice to be framing in the snow but we uh we're doing the best that we can <laughs> Musical letters every day. Brandon ended up ordering a hood for his onesie. I'm so thankful for Are it. you? Nice. <laughs> Thanksgiving gratitude right Keeps there. Keeps the snow right. out of my shirt. Right now is the only time you need a hood. So yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna follow suit and get one for myself. It is a game changer. Yeah. You lost your tape. I don't know if it translates on screen, but these guys are having an absolute blast. I feel like Frosty the Snowman out here. <laughs> <laughs> Best day ever. Take two, slight trimagerie. Sometimes you gotta trim the tree, sometimes you gotta trim the ledger board. Pretty much always. I'm trying to make it exact, it's not gonna work. <laughs> The very good news, woo, is that this one side of the garage is already uh, fully framed in and covered. So we've been parking the truck in here and using it uh, whenever we need to go anywhere and not having to shovel it off when it snows, which is amazing. And uh, the first time in almost three years of living up here, well, two and a half, but uh, the first time ever where we haven't had to shovel snow off of a vehicle and 
wow, it makes a huge difference. <laughs> Just clearing off the snow. <laughs> you know it's just gonna keep falling. <laughs> Are all the birds mouse cut? Just one, we're just testing it. Okay. How you looking? Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good? Yeah. So you're saying it's perfect? Yep. It's like you've done this perfect before. It is as perfect does. That's what Mama always said. I feel like it's getting colder out here. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah, it doesn't feel good out here. <laughs> All right guys, I am up here on the top of a ladder. I just got done putting all of our SDS screws into the ledger. It is fully mounted. I basically just need to do layout. Brandon is cutting bird's mouths right now. I think he's gonna have about eight here in a second, which is about half of what we need. Then we're gonna start throwing these puppies up. I'm hoping we can get all these thrown up and then throw some roof sheaths on, roof, roof sheaths, roof sheets of sheathing on the roof relatively quickly. Uh, we don't need to like fully nail all of them. We just need to get them up and in place and then we can go and nail them all while it snows. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. But anyway, we're gonna try and dust off the snow that's falling while we're building and uh, try and get some roof sheathing thrown up so that we can do the, I guess we could do the eaves later, but either way, I would just really like to get the roof sheets up before this gets any worse. are just on a roll. Say the honor roll? You're on the honor roll. Straight A's. Pretty pretty. You know on camera it looks gorgeous. That's good. Yeah. This part should. To the ugly parts yet. Oh, my hands are numb. My hips hurt. We're getting it done. I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands. I met friends on the way, people chose to make a stand. I felt strong in the sun as I walked on to Pastor's Green. Forgiveness together is bases in between. And I'll be with you through the night. And I'll turn every wrong to right. That's bad. We go get the blue hose out of the basement. Yeah. Of course, right in the middle of everything, the nail gun fitting broke and the hose just went flying all over the place. And uh, of course it's got compressed air in it. So it's just shooting pressurized air everywhere. 
I think we have another hose, but I think it also has a leak in it. So we'll see if we can use it. All right, blue hose, blue hose. Where are you? Oh, amazing. Also, probably can't tell, but we cleaned the basement recently and it looks so good down here. Super organized. We had a huge pile of stuff to donate, a huge pile of like trash and uh, everything has a spot now. It feels amazing down here. What happened? Dropped the gun and it landed right on the air hose and snapped the end of the air hose right off. Not even the fitting, it's like the actual hose. So, so the hose is garbage now. Yeah. Oh boy. But at least we have this piece of crap. I hope it works. Oh, it'll work. Okay. It just leaks and it's a big tangly mess. Okay. So that'll be fun. the 0.2 inches that was on the forecast today and uh, probably gotten two to maybe three inches total not including what we got last night but it's coming along we've got a quarter of a pergola right now <laughs> and uh, Brandon's gonna cut ten more of these rafter tails we're gonna get them installed one two three four five six uh, I think we only need eleven more so we got ten traced out cut those throw them up Maybe throw some roof sheeting up. It's only 11.30, so we literally have like four and a half hours probably. We could definitely get the roof sheathed. All right. Maybe even get the eaves built. You we'll said see. it here first. You saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Start your engines. Start your engines. <laughs> Everything is slippery. It is super cold out, but these guys are working hard, so they're also like hot and sweaty, and they are trying to get this done before it continues to snow any more than it already has. And they're close. Three more boards left, and then they're done. So close. And then hot chocolate for everybody. <laughs> camera, it seriously looks like there's no roof. Oh, it just lands with the sky. Goes straight up to the sky. Oh. I just took a quick break inside because my face is so frozen solid. I feel like I have brain freeze just from standing outside in this weather. It is continuing to snow and it's actually not even that cold. It's like 25 degrees, um, but it's a little bit windy and uh, it's just like it feels like it's getting colder and colder by the minute. So hopefully this snow lightens up a little bit. Um, but honestly, it's not really stopping these guys. They're just gonna keep going for it Unless there's like a blizzard with zero visibility. I feel like they would just continue to work regardless of the weather But that's just them Ah, oh, There he is How you doing? Oh, you know, I have earplugs in so I can't really hear you, but I hope <laughs> you're doing good. I need your help with this Okay It was 25 degrees this morning and now it's 27. Yeah. It's like not even that cold out, but I feel so frozen. Yeah, it's, the sun's not out. No sun, yeah. <sighs> Makes a huge difference. Yeah. It really does. But these are fully blocked and in place now. We're ready to call it a day. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just kidding.
like a real structure out here. Close. Unfortunately, it is snowing again. And now the sun is starting to go down. So it's later in the afternoon. It's getting real cold. I would love to call it quits, but I think Trent wants to finish sheeting this roof. The problem is that before we start working on like construction again, it's gonna snow like another foot probably. Okay. So we like really have to get this roof on. Okay. Ah, I you're, wanna quit as bad as you do, trust me. You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Are you helping Lika? guys got the rest of the roof fully sheathed. It's not like completely nailed in and the eaves aren't done on either side, but it's really good. And uh, if it snows now, at least we'll have some form of protection on the roof so there isn't just more snow accumulating in that like room below it. Until then, they're calling it a day. It's Thanksgiving week and Trent and Brandon just ran down to go pick up someone very, very special. Who do you think it could be? Who do you think is here? They're here. Who is it? Who is there? Our special guest is Joel! Yay! Look who it is, Leo! <laughs> so Joel is actually up here to spend the night. He has no idea what he's in for, but we are making all the things and baking all the foods. Very exciting. <laughs> and we finished the roof. All right, well, now that Joel has made it up here, we are actually gonna start some really fun festivities. It is Thanksgiving time right now. We are about to have a blast. And I think you guys are gonna see it in the next video. So this is where we're gonna call it a day. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys. On the next one. On the next one. Adios. <laughs>